На четвертый путь прибывает фирменный поезд 110 й скорой Санкт-Петербург Астрахань. Будьте внимательны и осторожны. We continued to discover Serbia. This time we decided to visit Novi Sad, the second largest city in Serbia. We took a train from Belgrade to Novi Sad. It was a very comfortable and quick way to get to the city. Vicky downloaded a new gesture, so she actively used it during this trip. A road went through the fields, so we just relax and enjoy the scenery. The train station looks very clean and nice. We arrived pretty early, so we first went to a coffee shop to have some coffee and restore our energy for a full day of walking. The first place we visited was Filipenko Coffee Bar. I guess it's the most popular specialty coffee shop in Novi Sad, because I've seen this place mentioned many times in other videos and posts. It's actually a very good place to drink coffee and eat some desserts. There are two floors, nice music and a little space for working. After coffee, we went to explore the new city. We didn't have a strict plan of what to visit, so we just walked around the city. Often it's a good way to find interesting places accidentally. We came to the main square where this absolutely gorgeous church is located. It's a very tall church with beautiful colors on the roof. It seems to be a Catholic church. There was a car with clean water in front of the entrance. Apparently, people can drink water from this car. We also tried to go inside the beautiful building in front of the church, but unfortunately it was closed. Inside the church is pretty modest, but it looks nice. After taking about a million photos with the church, we finally moved on. We found a marvelous park where people were chilling with their kids. Here, kids are learning how to draw graffiti. When they become adults, they can draw in the city. It's always good when there are parks like this in the city, especially during the summer. By this time we were already hungry. Vicky found a place with Russian cuisine on the map, so we went there. It was a teeny tiny cafe with no chairs or tables, but we had delicious dumplings there. After this, we came to a square with a cute building called Vladishansky Dvor. We took a couple of pictures and moved on to the most interesting place in Novi Sad. This place is located on the other side of the Danube River. The bridge was securely protected from theft by special locks. No matter how hard we tried, we couldn't steal it.
In Serbia, there are a lot of buildings with plants on the walls. It looks so beautiful, I loved it. We were very lucky with the weather. It was sunny all day and not too hot. From the top, there's a view of the red rooftops, just like in Prague. It seems that it's a very popular place for taking photos. At the top, we found many interesting things. A cart with free cats, but it was the last one. A mirror for Lilliputians, a fig tree, and a bathroom where you can wash your clothes. Here you get a beautiful view of Novi Sad. I don't know why, but we were so relaxed in this place. It was so peaceful and calm there. It felt like they could film movies in this place. It was very beautiful and cinematic. There were an incredible number of locks on the railing at the viewing platform. I wonder why they were hung there. More locks for the god of locks. We finished exploring the castle and went back to exploring Novi Sad. On the way, we met two girls with the same kind of glasses. Misha wanted to get to know them closer, but we didn't have time to chat with them. We were already hungry and were looking for a new place to have dinner before heading to Belgrade. We found a great Serbian restaurant and ordered tom yum, pad thai, and vegetables in sweet and sour sauce. The food was very tasty, but unfortunately, it wasn't spicy at all. We also decided to visit one more specialty coffee shop in Novi Sad called Tiho i Toplo. It's a small coffee shop with only two tables inside, but they use Sondre's coffee beans, which means the filter coffee has to be good. I had a non-alcoholic cider. The taste wasn't just like a kid's lemonade, it was like real cider. Thanks to Fresh Wet Wipes for supporting this video. It was strange to see blue buses here because in Belgrade almost all public transport is red.
Tylko jedno w głowie mam.